Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Chantel and today I'm going to show you this makeup look. This makeup look is a full face of makeup that I have never tried before. There are some things that I have tried before just for the simple fact I've got enough of it and I don't need any more. Everything on my face right now I've never tried before if it's just a new colour, if it's a different brand, if it's a new palette. And yeah, I'm going to go straight into the video now. And at this moment in time, my mum decides to do the hoovering. Thanks, mum. Okay, so the first new product I have is the Revolution New Concealer. I am so excited. This one is in the colour C1. This is the lightest one, and I'm really pale, so... I also got two other colours. Um, I've got C9, C14, and C1. I've got a brown shade these two colors are quite the same i'm not gonna lie but this one's just a little bit more warm toned and this one's like really really white so if i kind of need that extra oomph in my under eyes i go ahead i think i'm gonna mix these two together today on my eyelids just to prime i'm so excited i actually think like even the dope for applicator it could be a dupe for oh, okay no, that is like i think that's too dark so i think i'm gonna actually mix quite a lot of the white one in I feel like this is going to be a dupe for the tape shape. I don't know if you guys can properly see that, but that is so airbrushed. Obviously, I can't have a verdict yet just because um, concealers are really used for under the eyes and concealing imperfections. So, can't really make a verdict on just using it as an eye primer. So, I'm going to use these a lot later. I'm going to go in with my RCMA powder. You guys know that I used to love this. I did get the no colour one, but people were saying that the translucent one was better. This isn't a first impressions because I have had this for a few weeks now, but I haven't actually used it that much. So, I'm going to see if that sets well as well because sometimes concealers can go really chunky or really chalky once you put powder on them so we're gonna see how this looks after as well okay so the next new product that i'm gonna try is the revolution i don't know what it is with revolution at the moment they are really slaying the game so if this doesn't work then i'm gonna cry but i'm gonna be trying this palette out this palette i don't even know what it's called why am i why am i doing this this is called the revolholic palette bold as brass palette i don't even know what it's called it has like five different names so <laughs> I have noticed just looking at this palette in general, it doesn't really have a transition shade. These are two highlighters and these are, I don't even know what these are. I think these are highlighters for um, a darker skin tone. I don't really see many transition colours like at all in there. Um, I think I'm going to go into another palette just so I can have a transition colour. For my transition, I'm probably going to go in with um, Tempura and maybe a bit of burnt orange just to kind of transition. This is my modern renaissance, my trusty modern renaissance. I think everyone loves this palette. I don't know one person that doesn't like this palette. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with Tempura from the modern renaissance and just kind of transition everything out. And then I'm just dipping into burnt orange and I'm just creating a transition again. Cause I'm not being funny. I'm not going in without a transition color. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with this purpley kind of color in this palette. This is going to make the crease a lot darker. I have noticed a while blending this in, I don't feel like the color payoff is amazing. I'm then gonna go in with this purple shade here. I'm gonna put this on my outer corner and kind of just underneath that transition shade that I just put down, just to create a little bit more depth and you know the drill. I'm gonna put this on my Sigma E25 brush and I'm just gonna go in. Okay, so I'm gonna create a halo eye today. So I'm just gonna get that concealer. This is the shade C1, the lightest shade that I have from the Revolution concealers. And I'm just gonna cut my crease just in the middle half of my eye to create a halo kind of eye look. So I think this is a highlight, but I'm just gonna go in with this on my lid anyway, because it's quite a nice peachy color and I feel like it'll really go with the look. So I'm then just going in on the corners with that purpley kind of color and i'm just blending the corners out to create more of a halo look and make all of the edges blend out okay so i'm next going to review these magnetic lashes by ardell i know the magnetic lashes from all of the cheap websites have never really gone that far but I really do enjoy the normal wispy, so I'm hoping that this will kind of work. It's just the whole idea of them being magnetic. If they don't work, I kind of just say to myself, I've got two pairs of wispies now, so. Okay, so I've got them on my tweezers. 
I guess we kind of just put them on the eyelashes. See what's going with that. Okay, these literally just stick to the tweezers. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's supposed to be so much easier. Why am I having... What? Ugh. I'm not going to lie, the, they actually look quite nice until they hit my inner corner. But if you guys can really see that, yeah, um, that is not sticking to the edge at all. It's like that, what, can anyone see that one bit of hair? I think I've got it. Okay, so and now we're going to go on to the face makeup. I have just put on some eyelashes. These eyelashes are Stephanie in Doll Beauty Lashes. I love them so much. They are so gorgeous. I don't think I love any other pair of lashes except for the Queen Bee one. I recently bought the Wet n Wild foundation. I know um, the American YouTubers like Laura Lee, Manny MUA go wild for this. I'm just going to go in this. This is in a buff a bisque. I don't know if it's going to be too dark, dark for me. I feel like it is. If not, I'll just add a little bit of my Fit Me in. Okay, this smells. Why does that smell like that? I feel like the scent of this is quite strong. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But at the end of the day, if it's a nice foundation, it's a nice foundation, so. I think that's all blended out with the brush quite well. This is the foundation with no concealer or anything. I feel like it looks really, really nice. The coverage is, I would say, more of a... I... No, I'd, I'd say it's a buildable medium foundation because I can still see my freckles for it, but we're not going to find a really, really high coverage foundation, especially for this pricing. This foundation is $5.99. I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender just to push that into my skin. This isn't damp, but it is, has been, like, recently damp. So it's not just damp, it's kind of just expanded still. But I'm just going to push that into my skin. Um, I'm then going to go in with my Revolution Concealer. This is in C1. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too light for my under eyes because my foundation is a bit dark. But I think we are going to go in anyway. Yeah, this is going to be way too light for me. <laughs> okay, whoa guys, this is like super full coverage. I did not mean to put that much on. I didn't know how good the coverage was until now, but that is amazing. The only thing I've noticed about this concealer is the fact that it dries really quickly, so you have to really work with it. Okay, so overall the concealer, I do say that you should work in sections because it does dry quite quickly because I have got, um, I have got quite dry skin. So if you have dry skin, I'd work in sections, and I feel like this would work amazing with an elixir, but obviously I don't have an elixir with me, so... Okay, so I haven't set any of these areas, because I am going to go right in with the other concealer. This is the colour C14. I was going to get the darker one, but this one is... There's a really huge jump between the lighter shades and the darker shade, and this was the lightest, darker shade that there was. Are you guys ready for the pill porn? For all of you ASMR queens out there. It's so funny. It's actually such a nice sound. But I bet everyone behind the camera right now is cringing to hell. I'm not going to put much of this on. And I'm not going to put it all over my face. Just for the simple fact that I know that it's really full coverage. Okay, I feel like that's going to be a little bit too dark. So I'm just taking that buffing brush. And I'm just buffing it in. Actually, now it's blended out. I do not mind that. Do I want to put this on my forehead? I'm kind of scared. I'm like really scared. I'm going to put like little dots. Wow, that blended out so quickly. What the hell? This is literally the most amazing thing I think I've ever had on my face. Then just going to take this concealer once again and I'm going to draw a line. And then just taking this colour here again, I'm just going to put that on my inner corner where I just put the concealer. And that's about it for the eyes, I think. Okay, so just to finish off the final look, I'm going to go in with this. This Jeffree Star lipstick in Androgyny. I don't know if this is going to look really purple or it's going to do whatever. I just dropped it. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my Sophie X palette. And I'm going to pick up this pink colour right here. We love a highlight. I feel like the kind of pink tones in this kind of works with the eyeshadow, so we're just gonna go with it. 
Okay, so I think that is gonna be it for you guys. If you did like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, click that big red subscribe button. Make sure you add me on my social medias. My Snapchat school is going to be bam on the screen. See that? I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.